What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about dealing with this fallen world. I know it's hard sometimes living in this fallen world as you're going to go through many trials and tribulations. But understand that this world was fallen even before we came into existence in this world. But what we must do is make our time useful. Give our time to the Lord. Understand that the Lord sees and knows that this world is fallen better than anybody else. But what we must do in this fallen world is follow behind him, understand him, and put our faith and trust in him. Due to the fact of the matter of this world being fallen, you're going to have many various different situations that you may feel like you can't control. But God is in control. Understand that there's so many things in this world that will deceive many if we decide to choose the world over God. If we decide to put our faith in the world and not put our faith in God. The world is in the hands of the devil. And what we must understand is if we decide to be a part of the world and in the world, then we will be like how the world is. Selfish, jealous, envious, boastful, greedy. And those things don't work with God. So what we got to do is understand the world that we live in. Understand how to navigate the world that we live in. And understand that in this modern day and age, in this society, there's going to be many pitfalls that try to stop you from following God. But if we put God's laws, statutes, and commandments before anything else in this world, we will not be overcome by this world. This world wants you to be lost. They want you to go down the dark path and the dark road and be a part of the Antichrist spirit. They want you in this society to be happy with having nothing. They want you in this society to be destroyed spiritually. They want you in this society to not have faith in the Lord. They want you in this society to be under them and be slaves of them. Look at media, look at programming, look at all the deception. This day and age, if you're a parent, I advise you to hold on to your children closely and provide your children with knowledge. Don't leave your children to these devices, these media platforms and publications, because it will not help the children. It will destroy the children and the children will become the children of the system. Not children following God, the true and living God. We got new age religion where People want to take things out of the scripture, things that they feel makes them happy, but not the fullest extent of the scripture. They want to use scripture to their own advantage, change words up in the scripture, so it deceives many people in society. They want your children in the society to not understand that they're children of God. They want your children in this society to be lost and confused and not understand who they are. They want your children to be in school and not understand what's going on in school and let the teachers rule over the kids and tell the kids that they have mental problems, disorders, and that they need to go to the doctor to get diagnosed when it's the teachers that are supposed to be teaching the kids properly, but the teachers don't want to teach the kids properly due to the fact of the matter of them not getting paid enough. So you don't want to provide knowledge to children that last centuries because you're not getting paid enough. That is ridiculous. Parents, if you have children, focus on your children. If you're a father, be there for your children, guide your children. 
Strengthen your children. Show them the way under the laws of God. If you're a mother, nurture your children. Show your children care, kindness, and compassion under the laws of a righteous man following God. Show your children the right way to do things in this wicked day and age. God is still here. God is still evident. Understand that once you as parents decide to follow God and you show your children how to follow God and walk in the righteous path, God will bless the household. But what we must not do is put our children in the line of fire. The youth needs to be taught what's right. The youth needs to follow God. That is the only way in the society Everything that's going on in this society is because we decide not to follow God and we want to follow ourselves. That won't work. And I'm a product of this as well. Because before God opened my mind and opened my eyes to society and what's going on in this world, I was rebellious. I was living for the world as well. But once God opened my mind and opened my eyes and made me realize that this world is fallen and this world is fallen away. I decided to repent, change my actions and serve the Lord with all of my heart. This fallen world is only gonna get worse, but what we must do is serve the Lord. There's many entities that are demonically possessed in this society. People believe in demons, they believe in evil they believe in the devil they believe in satan himself but they don't believe in god so what you mean to tell me is there's only evil in this society and there's not good as well from the true and living god the true and living god is real the true and living god is existing but what we must do is turn away from the rebellious spirit just because we don't get our way don't feel that god isn't evident, God isn't around. Understand that God is here, God is real. There's power in the Lord. And when the Lord reigns, it pours. But what we must do is follow him. We're on borrowed time in this fallen world. But if we decide to follow this world, man, you're gonna live in this world confused. They got many movements in the society that try to stop the family structure and try to stop people from doing things under God's law. And these are distractions in this world to place us in a position of destruction. So it's not even society that's doing it. It's the people that are buying into these things. You're buying into these ideologies and these groups and these movements in the world that God doesn't even approve of. You wanna be in this world and think you can make a way for yourself in this world following these movements. It's not gonna work. We got us men, us men are here. Not everyone is following the righteous path. Not everyone is following the righteous way as a man. But the men who are righteous are seen as boring. But the men who aren't righteous get all the women, have all the fun in this world. How does that make any sense? See, in society, we've fallen so far away from God that we don't even understand the proper structure and dynamic that God places for us. And we butt our head every time in this society due to the fact of lack of knowledge. We butt our head every single time. We got women that want to be a part of this feminist movement that is trying to destroy the women. This movement is here to destroy the women. But women want to be a part of this movement because they don't want to be submissive to a man. They think submissiveness is slavery. 
But see, when I say these things and I say these things to try and help, people look at me as a hater of women. I do not hate women. I do not hate men. I don't hate anyone at all. But what I feel is though is if I'm trying to help men and help women walk in the righteous path in the righteous direction and I'm getting chastised for it, but the people who are actually doing damage towards society and people in society, they don't get any backlash. This is ridiculous. This fallen world is upside down. I care about the proper family structure under the laws of God. I care about every law that's under God. So I'm here today to give this message that we live in this fallen world and we shouldn't follow any movements that target each other because there's male movements and there's female movements. Any movement that we're following and we're following it, we need to destroy it. We need to remove ourselves from it because if you're following any movement, you're putting that movement above God and you're rebelling against God. And every time you do that, you will not get further. You'll be stuck, you'll be lost. It's just gonna be a repeated cycle until your number is called. Understand even in this fallen world, if you wanna do business practices, if you wanna do relationships with people and you think that you can do it your way, the rebellious way, there will be consequences for that. In this life, there is consequences for everything. But what this world tries to make it seem is you could do whatever you want to do and there won't be any consequences. You could live the life that you want to live and God will accept you. You can be lost and confused about who you are as a person and your sexuality and God will be fine with it. God doesn't indulge in those negative demonic lifestyles. God sees what's going on and God knows. And I'm trying to explain this so when God really comes back and sends a sword, you can be on the right side. But this rebellious demonic spirit in this fallen world, it's so bad in this day and age when Jesus Christ the Messiah comes back, man, people aren't gonna know what hit him. But what I have to do is pass on this message and help people with this message because I don't disclose this message and then things happen to people. When I could have gave this message instead of hoarding information and keeping it to myself. But man, it's just more than meets the eye and what we must understand in this society is these are dangerous times that we live in. Don't place yourself around corruption. Focus on the Lord, trust in the Lord, and put God first in everything. You know, some people say put God first, but they don't actually mean put God first. But when I say it, I mean put God first in everything. Every decision you make, every road that you walk, Every morning, every night, every afternoon, every evening, put God first in everything, everything that you do. And God will protect you, bless you, and strengthen you. So today, I want to read the scripture about this fallen world, this corrupt system that is trying to destroy many, and how we can understand the scripture and navigate the proper way under the true and living God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Proverbs 29, 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. See, in this fallen world, in this fallen society, the wicked rule. Do you see anybody happy? Do you see anybody in joy, rejoicing? No. You see everyone sorrowful. You see everyone sad. 
in need, needing help, needing covering, needing protection, no matter how much they put it on social media, that they're happy. They're never really fulfilled. They're never really happy with themselves. They need more they need to hoard resources to have a false sense of happiness, but they're still not happy. Nothing is ever enough in this fallen world because the wicked rule over the righteous in this world. Look at the authority in this world, the wicked rule over the righteous. So when the wicked rule over the righteous, there will never be happiness at all. Proverbs 15, verse 27. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hath gifts shall live. Greediness. When you're greedy, you destroy your own home. Understand that God brings strength, God sustains. But if you decide that you want to hoard resources, you want to be greedy, you will destroy your own household. And that is on you and you alone because you made that decision to be greedy. James 3, 14 to 16. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. The wisdom descended from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. See, in this society, a lot of resentment. It's a lot of antichrist spirits that are trying to destroy God's word, trying to destroy God from the society. Demonic possessions, left, right, and center. And even in media, they're putting it in front of our face because we've been programmed so much through media that now when we see it, it's something normal. But demonic possession is not normal. Entertainment. You have demonic possession left, right, and center. That is not normal. That is not healthy. That is not healthy for our relationship with God. But see, when we stray away from God and we do what the world says, we place ourselves in the path of destruction. We focus on more entertainment than focusing on a relationship with God. We put ourselves in front of media all the time. These platforms, these publications that really aren't helping us, but destroying us and want us to be destroyed for the love of it. The elitists know that God is real, but they want you not to know that God is real. They want you to fall short of the glory. They want you to be taken to hell with them. They want you to be stuck and rebellious toward God and his people. Proverbs 29, seven to 10. The righteous consider the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. This is righteousness versus evil. This life that we live in this fallen world, it's a bunch of spiritual warfare. But what we must do is always trust in God. Always trust in the King and know that they know God is real, but they want you to be lost and not know. They want you to destroy yourselves with the things of this world. They want you to be functioning in the Antichrist spirit. They want you to destroy yourself and others. But how can you walk in this day and age and be compelled by what the world has to offer, but not be compelled by what God has to offer? Focus on the Lord. Focus your eyes on the Lord and everything in this world in this fallen system, in this fallen society, will be exposed before your very eyes. I want to thank you for watching today. Peace.